Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our Choose to Lose campaign. It is the last run. We're on our last leg. It is Waterworld time where the Prime team is finally facing all of the dangers that lie ahead before we can convincingly put the aliens back in place. So we got our main team right here. Um, we got Quickfeet as our ranger. We got Wurtz as our grenadier. We got Rekina, who's uh, supposed to lead the team. Frodo, who's the um, specialist with the rage suit. We got Jessica Rabbit Jones uh, with the snake suit. And finally, Primos, our well beloved Spark. You can see that we do have quite a few. Um, bits and pieces of armor. Frodo here, for instance, rocking three armor. And that's fantastic. I was thinking lengthy about how to deal with the Avatar. Uh, because uh, we already know that the Avatar is super oppressive with his Psy abilities. And since Psionics are banned, I figured, you know what? The Avatar still has a great repeater gun. And we're just going to use that. So I'll try to stay away from Psionics as much as possible. Good. Let's get this one here rolling. Uh, we start with the only hidden unit, Quick Feet. Using his concealment as much as possible. Avatar moves up. Fantastic unit for tanking a couple of shots because uh, he can heal those up quite well. And we're just building up a fire line. Of course, we're only building that up if we're not accidentally going to pull someone. Good. And you know what would be fantastic? A dimensional rift. But I just mentioned we didn't want to do any of that. All right. Moving up with our mech. Semi elevated position right there. Overdrive is uh, the way to go. And I think the name of the game now is going to be how to deal with that massive Andromedon there. Do we really want to use some of our heavy weapons already? Can't hit more than one with a Shred Storm Cannon. We're looking at some solid shots against the guy. Wurz can come in. I mean, theoretically speaking, we could go crazy and let Wurz take some high ground up here. Hmm, maybe not the worst idea. Let's first of all move. We can still take um, the Icarus jump. I wanted to save that for the best possible time. On the other hand, what you can do with it is you can definitely get some resets. Let's try to do that. Since we have death from above, Icarus suit into here is a pretty damn good option to get rid of most of these guys we get two codices uh, down and then deal with him that's why we gave her the suit in the first place right so only makes sense to uh, to let her do that um, in terms of Getting rid of cover. This here is an option. And it would be a secured kill. Might as well do that. I wanted to save as much of our abilities as possible for the final room. So I'll keep saving that Shredstorm cannon. Uh, 
There is a clone. Okay, that clone is not going to be a huge problem. Quite the contrary. Alright, good old 90% shot missed. The commander doesn't really do that well here. But we can't grapple, that would be the other option. But we do have some good agency from over here. And we can take uh, take up Serial. Which will eventually allow us uh, to hit all of those guys. And Frodo is a backup. Okay, cool. Good. So now one thing after the other. Death from above. And we got some implacable, which is great. Flanking shots worked out well. Andromedon is going to be shredded. Their inferior designs won't hold forever. Good, we're looking at 10 points of damage. That's two, four, six, eight. Uh, that would be a kill. Continuing our death from above from uh, here. So far we have used an explosive and one Icarus jump. Not the end of the world. Um, everything else just cooldowns. This here could be a kill. I think we're still good to go. Serial was a bit wasted because we're not going to cash in on uh, the codex over here. That's okay. This might be a straight up kill. Yep. Rupture often crits and therefore triggers death from above. And Frodo moves up and kills the last Codex. So, even with half of the team being out of commission, we still managed to recover relatively well from that uh, one. Wards takes an overwatch and we're good to go. Now, slow down. And let's try to not do too much funny business. Because although this here played out quite nicely and we didn't take any damage, uh, we still use two cooldowns and so uh, two consumables rather, Bombard and one Icarus jump. And I mentioned beforehand that we want to just play very solidly and try to use as little as possible. There is a normal sector pot and a pretty nasty pack. Commander is moving over here. Jessica is moving over there with the Dark Lance. Such a nice weapon. Alright. Primus for now is moving over here. We're eventually going to move deeper. We got an outloader, right? Yeah, superior outloader, so no need to reload. Matter of fact, quite the opposite. We're just going to Overwatch. Scanning. Scanning. No trespassers. Got it covered. I'm on it. Double shield uh, bearer. That's a. Uh, Pretty tough pack, five armor each. Good, 
good. Carefully moving up. We still don't have the cooldowns, so I want to be really respectful. Not just charging in. Optimally, we wait the two more rounds and do not engage. If they happen to just run into an overwatch trap of ours, that's fine. Because we get so many extra shots out of it. Unless, of course, everybody misses. There we go, shred him. And straight up kill him. Another solid hit. Okay, well, so much for the cooldowns, but like I said, not the end of the world. I'm as graceful as a gazelle. Moving over there. Start shredding the sector pot. That's what we're talking about. Moving all the way to here. I think we can't shred it any further, unfortunately. What we can do, though, is we can mark it. So, Reckon. Moving in. Very, very well. Now, we gotta get extra damage onto that sector pot. And of course, Rupture is still down. That is unfortunate. But we can reposition, thanks to the Icarus suit, even without causing trouble. Look at that. If um, the game allows me to do it. The Icarus suit is capable of reaching these high grounds, as you can see. I just need to be able to select it. And apparently this one here doesn't want to be selected. Nice. You gotta love XCOM when it does not allow you to do anything. Okay, so... We can mark uh, the sector pot, but it's unfortunately not going to shred him. I don't want to stand in the open. It just seems like a really poor choice. I would love to stay stand up here because that seems like an absolute fantastic choice. All right, full cover it is. Hitting that sector port, marking it. Great, that worked out well. Let's see, where and how can I hit that sector port? Surprisingly far away, that little bugger. Pretty sure we can see him from here. Confirmed. 
Yes, we can. Okay, fantastic. That's good. 100%. I'll take the dead eye. Did not let us down at all this run. Good. This is going to hopefully kill the sector pot. Done deal. And saturation fire should remove cover. It certainly does. So that's great. Which unfortunately does not allow us to see this guy anymore. Wards is a bit far behind. I think we're just going to straight up hit and kill him. Yeah. Good Better than letting him escape. And the commander can go on to Overwatch. Okay, cool. Second pack. Nothing uh, used, so no consumables. A couple of cooldowns. But we're good to go. This is maybe a helpful showcase in how to uh, use your consumables. One more turn until overdrive, so we're just going to wait. Pre-reload here. And Wurtz. I mean, we can take the high ground, but I think for now we're just going to wait there. Quickly takes the front line together with the commander who from now on is going to be our scout and Jessica Rabbit Jones is moving here free reload good very good so I'm not sure with ABA, it seems uh, that this here is a pretty normal population. I haven't noticed any outstanding enemies so far. So let's see how the rest is going to play out for the time being. ABA, um, normally you do have one pack of each. So far, we seem to be doing fine. Everybody moves up into full cover. Reckoner moves over to there. Jessica moves to here. I'm on the move. Quick feet to there. So everybody's in full cover and we're just going to overwatch. Slow but, uh, slow but steady overwatch crawl. Keeping a solid fire line here so that no one falls behind. Commander reloads. Reckoner reloads. Ready to rock. Do we have an outloader here? Yep. Superior outloader. Uh, we're good. Good. So a couple of reloads. I'm a big fan of doing that whenever you're not in trouble because it keeps the momentum. Imagine a situation when we do have maybe two or three packs in a row. Uh, the ability to continuously shoot may decide between being able to kill someone or yeah, effectively not being able to do that. I move. Good. Frodo moves up. Primos moves up, Wards moves up, nicely spread out so that we're doing fine. Roger that. Interestingly enough, that is not cover. It should be half cover, but it is not. Okay, learn something. Uh, don't use the mech cover if you're not 100% sure. Oh, 
Okay, and off we go. So, let's do the next pick. Might be standing right there. Wrong on that account, but uh, yeah, at least we know that the next pack is there. Panicked <laughs> from the Icarus armor. Fantastic. Okay, we can already start shooting at them. Let's mark these guys. Moving to designated coordinates. 88%, good enough for me. We could hail of bullets for 100% chance. And you know what, why not? <laughs> Wonderful. Good. We we'll pull ourselves in. That might even be a kill. Yep. Nice. Alright, full throttling. Um, gotta be careful not to immediately pull something else. But that position here is really punishing. High ground position. Good, moving up. We should have marked them first. <clears throat> we do have the means to do that. And it seems as uh, if they just don't have enough hit points to compete. It, it very much seems like this year is not an ABA pack because they typically have more beefy packs. That's the one thing that I like about ABA. Uh, they really beef up the picks for the super, super late game. Alright, Primo's moves up. And overwatch. Good, very good. The Commander's Avatar eventually pulls another pack. The answer is no. Heading out. We're instead moving in. This unit is relatively agile. Moving to Taking position. good cover. Taking kind of a fire line position as I tend to do it very often. <clears throat> Being everybody centralized. And an overwood trap. Very good. So best case scenario. An enemy pack would simply be starting to move in. But that seems to happen not that often. Good. This is very likely going to pull some uh, some enemy pack, and we're looking at <coughs> the melee madness. Those guys have seen my no shot run, and have decided to also just go in with melee weapons. I appreciate that. It's the way to go. 13 hit points, holy shit. Okay, we can only hit that Berserker. I think we're going to... <coughs> we're going to overdrive. It's cool to see that they are afraid of our suit. Ninety-seven percent shot misses. That's unfortunate. The 
Let's try again. Very good. I'm on it. We're going to use her in a second. What I want to do first is cereal and let's clean up this mess here. One Berserker down. It's not necessarily a hundred percent kill. I think this here is the better position, just better shooting angles. And that's a hundred percent kill. Okay, so far so good. Let's oppress this guy here. start hitting both of them I love hail of bullets goes through walls you can set up kill chains like the one that we're showing here there we go Good. Moving up with Rashi. Nice little hit. And let's continue with a Serio. <laughs> the bigger they are, the better they fall. That's the motto. Another kill. All right, let's penetrate this guy. He's almost done. Oh, good. We got a uh, hair trigger. Might as well use that. Elsewise, I would have grappled, uh, grappling hooked, and then uh, killed him this way. Apparently, worked without it, so we're good to go. Simple Overwatch, and we're ready. What a fun massacre. Reload sequence. Primo's reloads. Words is okay. Jessica is okay. Still got free reloading. Superior expanded magazine. Stock hair trigger. Alright, needs to reload. Reload Overwatch. And I think we still got auto loader, yeah. Okay, very good. Very, very good. That was the next pack. So far, everything works as intended. We're just moving up. Quick feet moves over here. And we're taking an aggressive position with Roto. Everybody else overwatches. Roto overwatches with Ever Vigilant. I think the next pack is potentially behind the building, which means we could sort of aggress start to sort of aggressively move in. Of course, from time to time, you can just see through the building and things are not turning out as you originally thought they would turn out.
Okay, so a couple of uh, things here. I'll take the high road. Number one, let's get into a better shooting position. 10 to 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, that's not 100% kill. Moving up. Ah, the Archon is hard to hit. The chain shot would only be a 50-50. And our hail of bullets, unfortunately, is not available. I think we're just going to mark him. Yeah, chain, chain shot would have also missed. Suboptimal. I mean, we could pull in, but you don't want to melee attack a mutant. That's just not a clever idea. <clears throat> we want to take the high ground, though. Setting up the mutant. That will allow us to finish him. Death from above kicks in. We still have a free reload, so we're good. Good. So, let me think that through. This mutant is in a relatively safe position against us I would love to take the high ground here unfortunately it doesn't work like that good moving over here Fantastic. That takes care of the crowd control of, of this guy. And at the same time, this hail of bullets here <coughs> will mark and highly injure the mutant. We got another hail of bullets and sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do, which is use that, uh, those 100% shots against targets in full cover. Good, and although I know that nothing is happening, we're just going to overwatch. Taking the high ground here. Arm percent shot. And there you go. X ray neutralized. Death from above and emplaceable. So we essentially uh, got a refund for the entire movement. Proto moves up. Confirmed. That was a fun little encounter. As you wish. Those three were almost like a little snack in between. On Moving over. Jessica takes full cover Order. over there. Order's confirmed. Moving out. I think we're almost running out of auto loaders. <clears throat> We've taken quite a few uh, shots, and that was a misclick. It's not the end of the world. I'll just get into cover. Uh, 
Okay. So a couple of our units don't even need to deal with height. We can automatically get up there. Icarus suit <coughs> allows to do exactly that. I'm on it. We got some grappling hooks as well if needed. Slowly but surely moving our way there. Good, Jessica moves all the way up here. And Quick Feet moves up just because I want him to be able to drop down in flank. Okay, time to take a look what we are dealing with. Two Archons. All right, fantastic. We can deal with that. And there's the infamous Gatekeeper pack together with a couple of snakes. This is what we would call a target-rich environment. As well as a perfect environment for serial 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Wonderful. Target neutralized. That's one. And two. No longer a threat. Okay, we're going to wait, no problem. Moving over here. Time to deal with that big fat bubbly eye. That's a solid shredding. I definitely want to fully shred it. So what we are going to do is we're going to mark it. Alright, not... Not a very good chances, but thankfully we got hail of bullets. That allows for a marking. Then again. We can continue to shred. There we go. Armor almost gone. And let's hit it. Not as I was expecting. On the move. Enemy down. Very good. It was a crit because it was a psionically active enemy. So what do we have? Two more Archons that are pretty far away. Don't care all too much about them. They have tactical analysis going against them. This is uh, more in order to set these guys up. to position. 
Perfect. Moving up. Let's hit this guy. Death from above and implacable, I think. Good. And that allows us to move over here. Hmm, can we kill him? Potentially not quiet. But we can set it up. We still got serial running. <clears throat> oh, okay. Can't reach this guy. Well, that's yet again no problem. With the right mobility levels, you can almost do anything you want. I would like to get into some sort of full cover. This here is good enough. I can still get up next turn. But since they do have tactical analysis, all they can really do is a bit of overwatch. And that matters little to us at this point. could who could avoid getting shot yeah i think lightning reflex is over here good fantastic I take a new approach. aggressive repositioning Uh, even more aggressive repositioning. That's lightning reflexes. Nicely shooting the guy straight into the into his face. Oh, the skirmisher is so good. Sets the one uh, guy up for burning. Poisons the other one. Okay. Once you are in the end game, all of this here becomes so much more fun because uh, you're ending up with just these ludicrous plays. Where you're jumping kind of halfway across the map. Well, I think that was pretty much it. A fun first hour of quote-unquote clearing trash mobs. Um, with the exception of the very first engagement uh, where we had a pack uh, that we engaged way too early and therefore needed to blow two cooldowns. I think everything else was pretty straightforward. Um, the team, even without the absolutely phenomenal psionic abilities of the commander still held their own even with kind of the b tier equipment so i would say that worked out well guys i am super pleased to go for the last room in a second uh you guys will need to wait two more days and then we're finally concluding the choose to lose campaign thank you so much for watching i truly appreciate your viewership if you're excited as well leave that comment and the like down below it helps the channel and motivates me to do more XCOM 2 content. Thanks, guys, and have a good one. Bye-bye.